Hello, Auto Hotkey people of the world. My name's Tom. I'm Tab Nation Automation, and we're just going to be doing a, another GUI video or GUI, graphical user interface. There's lots of ways to say it to each his own. Uh, yeah, we're going to see how to embed a website, basically make our own browser, essentially, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this code. This code actually comes from soft and lexicos i'm not sure who soft is never heard of that one but i hear about lexicos all the time very well known person but he did such a great job on this that i figured i would just kind of showcase the script and kind of break it down a bit uh so yeah uh here we're using f1 like i always do uh pretty much always it equals and this is going to be our website this is where we're going we're just using the auto hotkey website we're using boards because that's where I got this from. So it sounded like it made sense. I'm not really going to break down the GUI too much because I've done plenty of videos on, you know, what these all are. Um, sorry, I said this was my hotkey F1. That's my variable. That threw me off for a second. This is actually my variable. And so right here, that's where we're calling upon uh, that. The value will be our uh, URL. And so that's where we, so it's an edX box. You'll see a little better at the end of the video of what that is. But uh, that's basically your search bar. I mean, not basically, it is your search bar. You got some buttons right here, BRB. So if you press that, that's uh, go back. And, you know, it's just represented by a carrot uh, going there. And this one's forward. It's just represented by a carrot. Uh, go, default, you know, a lot of stuff on here. Um, but... I have talked about in one or two videos about ActiveX, but basically if you don't know what ActiveX is, it's uh, made by Microsoft. It's a embed embedding technology uh, for content downloading from a network, usually for the internet, basically. Yeah, at least in our case, that's all we care about. <clears throat> so the support for it has, just to throw this out there, has been dropped as of, I think it was 2020. Uh, but it still works. I, you know, I don't know of any bugs really out there that we should care about. That's in EHK. Dropping support, you know, people will think like, oh, it's going to break everything. It's going to stop working. It's not always the case. It just means there's going to be no new updates. So if there is a bug that you guys come across, it just means it's never going to get fixed. But this one works. So we don't have to care about that. I just want to throw that out because I know some people freak out when stuff gets discontinued. We're fine. That's like with uh, comms. Your next floor got discontinued. Everybody thought comms were going to break. Comms don't have really anything to do with Internet Explorer specifically. Uh, comms are just built into the Windows, you know, uh, core. So it'll be around probably forever uh, or everything would break because we use comms for Excel too. Uh, and then we're just going to show our browser. Uh, it's going to auto-submit for the first time, which is just going there. If we deleted this and got rid of that submit, it would just open a blank page, basically. But we want to go ahead and go specifically to a website. Uh, so, oh yeah, then we're using the web browser. Silent equals true. Just means like we're not opening stuff that we don't care about because we're opening the browser into our thing. Go sub A1. It's just going down here, which is GUI submit, no hide. And then it's doing that WB, web browser navigation, to that URL. I've done videos about that, so I'm not jumping too much into that. Uh, showing you kind of how the comms are working. So check those out if you want to know more about specifically that. And then down here, we're just doing uh, the BRB, which is the back. And it's going to say try. It's going to do that com call for go back. And yeah. If it works, it works, but it's going to catch if it, meaning if it didn't work, it's going to get, you know, whatever the message was and it's going to display what the error was, you know, why it could, maybe you don't have an internet connection or something. It's going to display like, you know, could not connect or 404 or something like whatever it has. Same thing down here, except for we're doing wb.go forward. Once again, display right here, the, um, Error message. Can't think today. Uh, and then here we got the WB or the class for the navigate complete uh, GUI control. And that's just kind of updating. Yeah, right here. Update the UR edit control. 
So we're just updating the information. And if we close the GUI, it closes out as the entire script. So yeah, obviously you can get a lot fancier with this. It's very basic and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, run that if I can find it. There it is. So no hotkey, so as you saw, it just auto open. Now doing it this way can be a little slow, um, but uh, you know that was pretty good. It's not going to have a lot of the fancy stuff. It's going to be very basic. You know, as you can see here, it's, uh, yeah. So a website like this is not going to be great. But if I were to go to like facebook.com, they actually have a simplified version. So if I push enter, it says unsupported browser. So it's saying you're using a browser that isn't supported by Facebook. So we've redirected you to a simple version to give you the best experience. So it's giving you kind of like an old school one. So it looks better. Not all websites are going to have that. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, just, it's not doing great with like the JavaScript and all that. So yeah, hopefully you guys find a use for this. If anybody develops like a full on browser and auto hotkey with this, just email it to me in the about tab on my channel because it would be so cool to see like who can come up with like a like fully functioning like you know browser it'd be kind of cool to see that uh, so yeah if you haven't subscribed one two three videos sometimes every week about automation mostly in 90 percent auto hotkeys but i jump around from time to time uh, with still interesting stuff you know i'll have a video where it's i think it's 15 hotkeys that you should know that are built into windows stuff like that all right guys i will see you all on the next one